everyone. It's Christy. Welcome back. Roxy's Weekly Challenge number 24, Mark Making on Book Pages. I have some markers that I've not, uh, not used, so I'm excited to get into these. Okay, so uh, these are just regular uh, felt tip, paper mate, you know, use these all the time, flare. I use these in the 70s. There's one missing. There it is, orange. So orange, pink, blue, red, green, purple. Um, and then I have those. Those are all just a regular, uh, pretty much medium point. Then I have these, which have a pretty good point on one end, medium point. I wouldn't say fine point. And then they have a... Uh, angled, almost calligraphy type, oh, what do you call it, wedge? Chisel, there you go, it says right here, fine and chisel. These are pin and gear, I got these from Walmart. There were 20 I think in the set. I don't think I paid too much for it because I wouldn't have, but um, they're kind of pastel-y. Um, I don't know if these come in other colorways or not. I'm going to have to look because I think I would like them to be a little bit darker. But let's just let's just try. I want to use the chisel side and um, I think I want to just do some circles. This is for um, collage fodder. And I will speed this up. I kind of like to have some more noise in here. I'll do one row, one more row of this. And Let's do, we can do it all in the same color. Let's do some diagonal. Okay. I am going to tear these out. All right, so let's use a uh, teal. And let's see. We could do some feathers. I'm not sure if I remember how to do feathers, but you can also do, you know, some... I'm having a hard time still seeing because our, our sun went away. I am using the chisel, but you wouldn't have to. And then I want to go across this way. Okay, and then what I like to do, and I would probably come back with the other, the other side, is color these in every other one. This would be, you know, something you'd want to do in front of the, the TV. It doesn't have to be a fast project. And then I'll go diagonally to this one. This is, a, because I did wavy lines, it's not like a regular um, checkerboard. And then this one. I loved doing this kind of art when I was in school. We we did the ones, you know, all the 70s, um, so what do they call it, psychedelic art, where you did the black and white and, and 
when you would color it in, it would kind of look like it was moving. I loved making that stuff. I may have to do one of those soon. I haven't done one for a while. Um, gosh, it's been years, but it's very simple. All you need is paper and a ruler and a marker. So, but you know, this is just a, a wavy checkerboard here. And I do, I think I'll tear this out so I can color to the edge of that paper there. And so. This is great to do while you're talking on the phone, while you're watching TV, you know, whenever. And then I think you get the idea here. Hmm, what did I do wrong? Oh, that's right. This one goes here. No. This one. Just take your time, don't try to rush through it because that's how I make mistakes. But the good thing about this is there's not really any mistakes if you um, take your time. I think this is my mistake right here. No, that's right. This one goes. Nope. No mistakes. Yeah, because there's a space in between that one. Yeah, that's where they cross over. So you get the idea. Um, let's see. What else can I do with this one? You can do um, some X's. Let's turn it this way. Just do similar to the one we just did. can do waves something sticky on here and um, you know I would probably um, finish out this pattern and all the way to the edge of of this but um, I'll finish that one after. All right, so let's use another color. Let's get another paper. I like the one that has all the words instead of having, you know, photos or the short pages. So let's pull out this one. And we can do, um, let's do this purple. You know, similar to your, like, Zen tangle, like this, that I did on the ship. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can see here I did just stripes. Here I did circles. Here I did waves. Um, 
here I did circles and waves, just different spirals. There's the piano key, there's the checkerboard, I did a wood grain, all kinds of, of fun stuff. But um, one of my favorite patterns that I used to draw when I was a kid was this, and I don't know why. The crazy eights or grapevine and um, it's funny because my favorite letter to write when I was a kid was the letter S and I my last name started with an A when I was a kid so um, who knew I would end up with a S last name my best friend's last name started with an S and I loved writing her name but you can see that it doesn't really matter if it's cool or not because this is going to be used in collage. These are just kind of some rosy posies. That's what I would call them. So there you go. That's a cool color. I like that one. Very periwinkle. It doesn't say the names of the colors on here. I wish it did. Non-toxic. Let's see. Let's do a pink. What color? What do we want to do pink? There we go. Um, we could try to do some some leaves like Rachel did. I don't know. Let's see. We'll do come out here and come out here. I'm not very good at this, but let's see. I'm not great at freehand drawing. Yeah, you get the idea. Maybe you're better than I am at that. <laughs> I've just gotten to the point where I could draw the the rosy posies. So we could do, um, I think I'll come up this way and do some squares. Kind of more blotchy. I do like this color. like that. Let's see. I, I do have a bunch of loose pages back here, so that's kind of what I'm grabbing. Um, I wrote down circles, sticks, fat sticks, dots, leaves, diagonal lines, wavy lines. Um, you could do match sticks. Oh, I forgot to change colors. That's okay, I use a lot of pink, right? Let's see what else we got over here. Let's let's try this uh, kind of peachy color. Comes out orange. I think there's a piece of dry glue on my mat and that's what I'm running into over here. Yep. 
Now, I could go... That's a nice color as well. All right, let's do one more. And I think, let's see, we don't have a green, but let's do some, let's see, we did circles. Let's do some smaller circles. Ooh. This one's dry or light. These are brand new. Yeah, I think it's just light. Yeah, you can't you can't really see this. Let's do a different color. There's a gray. I started out with a circle. Um, I do like these blotches. And you can also, there's not really a red, these are all kind of pastel-y in, in nature, but um, you could also do, this is kind of a red. And then do kind of like a brick pattern. That's not the best, but you get the point. So Anyway, that is probably enough. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one to grow on. And um, we will be back to do number 25 next week, which will be using up our marked papers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wait till next week. I may do it this week. I'm trying to get caught up, and I think 25 is the last one I need to get caught up. So anyway, today is number 24, Mark Making on Book Pages um, of Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.